Reading the odometer. Look at this car odometer. We just reset it to zero 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 before our trip across the country. During our trip, the odometer counts how many miles we traveled. Notice how the first digit on the right is increasing. It starts from zero, then one, two, three, until it reaches nine. Then it goes back to zero. But we increase the next place, the tens place, by one. And our odometer shows zero zero one zero. So the digit to the left is increased by one. And when the ones place starts counting again from zero to represent eleven, twelve, and so on, we reach nineteen. And we get to twenty by adding one to the tens digit, and the nine resets to zero. And if we keep traveling and reach zero zero nine nine in the odometer, we reached the maximum of the tens digit, and the next number is one hundred. We need a third place to represent a hundred, so we add one to the hundreds place. And the tens, and ones places reset to zero, and so on. The same concept applies when we round up a number to the nearest ten value. When the tens digit has a nine, we add one to the place on its left, and reset the digits in the place we are rounding to, and all digits to its right to zero. But If we have multiple nines to the left of the tens digit, we will have to increase each of them by one, making them zeros, and moving the carry to a new place on the far left. For example, suppose we have the number seventy-two thousand nine hundred ninety-nine. Which we want to round to the nearest ten. The number made by the ones and tens digits is ninety-nine, and now we know we have to round up to one hundred. So, we add one to the digit on the left of the tens digit, and reset the tens digit and the digit to its right to zero. But the digit to the left of the nine in ninety-nine is also a nine, so it becomes a ten. It takes the zero, and the one is carried to the digit to its left, which is a two. So adding one to it makes it three, and we are done. So the number becomes seventy-three thousand. Now let us round one hundred ninety-nine thousand nine hundred ninety-five to the nearest ten. The number made by the ones and tens digits is ninety-five, and we know we have to round up to one hundred. So we add one to the digit on the left of the tens digit. And reset the tens digit and the digit to its right to zero, but the digit to the left of the nine is also a nine, so it becomes a ten. It takes the zero, and the one is carried to the digit to its left. The same thing continues for the rest of the nines in the number, making them a zero. Until we reach the digit one here, then we add the carry one to it, making it a two. 
and we are done. So the number rounded to 200,000. In this lesson, you learned how to round multi-digit whole numbers to the nearest 10 when a carry is needed in many places.